Hey y'all, it's me, JJ Gamingverse. I'm here with another video, and it's been quite a while since you've seen me here. <laughs> and, yeah. So, I'll be posting a lot more than usual now because of school being closed due to quarantine and all that. So, I decided, why not make a video y'all haven't seen in forever? So, I decided to do a JJ Reviews. And this time... Of the first JJ reviews of 2020, we will be reviewing this slime right here. It is Slimy Gloop Slimy Sand. It says it's moldable and stretchable. I'll be the judge of that. Alright, it's 1.5 pounds, and yeah. It says it molds like sand, it stretches and expands, yada yada, yada yada. And it's pink. I just got it because of the container. I didn't know it was going to be pink. So don't judge me. Alright. Anyway, let me get the camera set up. And we'll be... Actually, I'm going to just set it up up here. Using my TikTok holder. Alright. I'm going to do this one standing up. So, let's try and open this slime. Got it. Yo, y'all should have seen it earlier. I was trying to open this thing for three minutes straight and could not open it. It's very hard to open a lot of times. Alright, let's get all of it. No, we only want a little bit for now, actually. Ooh, this feels really nice. It feels like sand, but it doesn't stick on your fingers. Is it... Alright, time to determine. Can you mold it? Let's try and make a ball with it. Oh yeah, by the way guys, you remember name making is hard from the Roblox videos? Well, she's got a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to AA Gamingverse for some more daily content on her channel. She posts gaming, she posted Hello Neighbor, she's posted Adopt Me on Roblox, Minecraft, all that stuff. So if you want to watch daily gaming videos, go check out her channel. Link is not below, just type in AA in capital space gaming space verse. And it will pop up. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, basically, just subscribe to her, but make sure you subscribe to me too. Because, I know I won't post as much as her, but let's be honest, I got good content. Let's be honest. Alright, anyway... Also, I reply to all of you guys because I love my fan base. Anyway, let's get back into this. I'm still trying to mold a ball here. It's actually turning out pretty good. Come on. I gotta... I just suck at molding, honestly, because it does mold. Like, you can have it, like, up here, like that. You can have it into whatever this is, sort of like a ball. You can catch it, throw it, catch it. Let's see if it's stretchy. Pretty stretchy to me. Yo, when you're stretching it and feel it, it feels just like that fabric. Like, certain clothing, how it's like really soft. It feels like this. That, this slime feels very nice. You wouldn't even know it's a slime, because it's not even that slimy. It's honestly not even that slimy, and... It comes in containers with this much slime, honestly. And guys, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway soon. Like a slime giveaway. So, I'll be giving you guys some more information and videos to come. And the giveaway will be soon. You want to know what you can win? You'll find out at the end of this video. Anyway guys, so let's get back to getting into reviewing this slime. It's very stretchable. Oops. That was not a good demonstration. But it can be stretchable, honestly. Just not all the time. It can be molded. Let's see if we can build a big ball with this right now. And throw it and catch it. I would be so embarrassed if I didn't catch this, honestly. Got it. Yeah, you can mold it into whatever you want. Let's try molding it into like a big line. 
I'm honestly ready for this corona crap to be over because I don't like being inside stuck at my own house. But, yeah. It's very good. Cuddly. It feels so soft. Um, I like this slime. You wouldn't even know it's slime. It doesn't even feel slimy at all. It feels like so soft and... Yeah, it doesn't even feel like slime nor sand. It feels very good. But yeah, so... Basically, let's do the pros and the cons while I play with this slime. The pros, so the good things, are... It's stretchable. It's very soft. It's very fun to play with. And it comes in a lot of slime portions. Also, it can be molded into whatever you want. Yada yada. Yeah, you get the idea. Now the cons, on the other hand, are it's very hard to open the container. Um, let's see what else. Some of the containers are halfway broken due to shipping and all that. And, um, it's sometimes hard to get out of the container. But that's the only problem that I have. But overall, it's really worth it, honestly. So, time to get to the review. I would have to give this slime the Slimy Goop Slimy Sand Moldable and Stretch... You didn't see me drop that. And that. No! It's all falling! Oh no! This is embarrassing. Stop falling! I'm putting it back in the container. Honestly, because... It keeps falling because I am too clumsy. So now I gotta get the rest. Sorry if you guys don't see me, but I'm gonna show you how much freaking slime I just dropped. I dropped all this and more. But anyway, guys, so time to say my reviewing, my review for this slime. I will give this slime a 8.5 out of 10 as seen bef below. The golden stars count as 1, the silvers count as 0.5. I know I give everything a good rating, I'm just trying to be nice, but I also really like a little bit of everything, if you get that, except chocolate and peanut butter. If you guys ever send me stuff when I get famous, don't make it chocolate or peanut butter, please, I cannot stand that. But anyway, I give it an 8.5 out of 10 because of basically the texture being good, it's stretchy, it can be molded, all that stuff. But I don't like how um it's hard to get out of the container, it falls a lot. And it's hard to open the container in general, so most of that is because of the container. So if they were to fix the container, it would possibly have a perfect 10. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want another JJ Reviews, don't worry, it's coming. Anyway, guys, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next video.